Welcome to Latin for Non-Romans, or as I like to call it, Latin for Barbarians. The fourth declension is a relatively small class of nouns. Generally masculine, they appear with a characteristic ou in most of their endings, and can be identified with us in the genitive singular. Today we will learn how these decline, and tackle a little Cicero while we're at it. But first, let us review. Vidiamus. If you recall, last time we mentioned that there are five groups of nouns called declensions. We said that the first declension was feminine, because most of the nouns belonging to this class were associated with feminine nouns like puella and femina. The fact is, there are some masculine nouns such as agricola and nauta that prove us wrong. Now, the first declension is easy to recognize by its thematic A vowel, as you can see in the following endings. Puella, puellae, puellae, puellam, puella, puellae, puellarum, puellis, puellas, puellis. Simple. Next, we took a look at the second declension. Masculine nouns with us in their nominative, and neuter nouns with um in their nominative. These were pretty regular. Finally, we came to the third declension, a whole class of nouns whose nominative forms are so varied we have to look to the genitive form for identification. In the noun rex or regus, for example, one would use the stem of the genitive reg and apply the following case endings. Is, e, m, e in the singular, s, um, ibis, s, ibis in the plural. Simple. Now we come to the fourth declension, a relatively small class of nouns and mercifully a lot easier to recognize than the third. Generally masculine, they appear with the characteristic u in most of their endings and can be identified with a us in the genitive singular. Today we will learn how these decline, and tackle a little Cicero while we're at it. Let's choose the noun senatus senatus, meaning senate, starting with the nominative singular. Senatus, senatus, senatui, senatum, senatu, senatus, senatum, senatabus, senatus, senatabus. One thing to remember, arcus, tribus, and quercus always show ubus in the dative and ablative plural. Alright, time for some vocabulary. Our first noun is manus, manus, it's feminine, and it means hand, handwriting, and in the plural, band. And the modern cognate is emancipate. Domus, domus, feminine, house, Cornu, cornus, neuter, horn. This is where we get the modern word cornucopia. Metus, metus, masculine, fear or dread. Fructus, fructus, masculine, fruit. And of course, fructose comes from this. Versus, versus, masculine, a line of verse. And of course, this is where we get the modern word verse and versatile. And now, let us turn our attention to Cicero, the famous Roman statesman. In his Catalinarian, he urges Catiline to leave the Senate and quit his plan for overthrowing the Republic. Listen. O tempora, o mores, senatus haec intelligit, consul vidit, hic tamen vivit, vivit, imovero etiam in senatum venit. Fit publici concilii particeps, notat et designat aculis ad caidem unum quemque nostrum, nos autem fortes viri, satisfacere republicae virimur, 
si istius furorem ac tela vitimus. Such times, such morals. The Senate is aware of these things, the Consul sees them, and yet this man lives. He lives? He even comes into the Senate and participates in the public deliberations. He is watching and marking down and checking off for execution every individual among us. And we, gallant men that we are, think we are doing our duty to the Republic if we avoid his fury and attacks. Thank you all for joining me today for Latin for Non-Romans. I look forward to seeing everyone next time.